for us. We are past, though, the peak of hurricane season. And for those who call South Florida home, preparing for a storm is basically second nature. Yeah, but South Florida's population has grown and newcomers may not know what storm preparation looks like. CBS News Miami's Chelsea Jones is in Miami with what you need to know. And Chelsea, no time like the present to learn what to do, right? Exactly, Jim. Of course, Florida's uh, residents know exactly what to do, but I am standing here in front of a floodgate, if you don't know. And what happens is it takes the excess water from drains in your neighborhood, flows it to this river behind me, and then flows through the gates into the ocean. And that is what helps with the reducing of flooding. And then also, Miami-Dade County sent out these hurricane preparedness manuals. I got one in the mail, and it is to help you before, during, and after the storm. And though we are being spared significant impacts here, there's no time left the president, like you mentioned, to get ready for a hurricane right now. It was just like any other day as people mold around Home Depot. We wanted to know if they were ready for weather impacts of Helene. Most were. I had all of my paper, my food, ready for my dog. Everything ready, you know. In the event of a storm, you know the basics. Secure your outdoor furniture, sandbag outside of your home, and board up windows, especially if you live in an area prone to storm surge. In the event that you lose power, you might want to have a generator for your home, but you also want to make sure you have cash so that you can get fuel to power up one of these bad boys. You also want to make sure you have batteries, flashlights, and battery powered radios. Residents like Gloria De Castillo say she has the routine down gas up my car, those buy the essentials for food essentials and make sure I have all flashlight batteries and all, all those battery run radios and all my phone charged. In the event that you lose access to your refrigerator, you gotta eat. So canned foods is where you're gonna go. Something like this, ravioli in a can. Myra Jimenez says that's how she prepares. Just buy water, water and food, that's it. Items you may forget but need are a manual can opener, an extra set of car keys, cash, and bedding like a sleeping bag. Something that's also recommended is you having a first aid kit on hand in the event of a storm from damages that might be from wind or something like a hurricane. Helene may pack strong winds and rain for South Florida, but Floridians who are used to it say they're ready. I tell you the truth, I'm just praying. So these helps and okay door hangers came inside of the pamphlet. This would be for after the storm to signal to emergency management that you either need help or that you're okay. Now, emergency management does say power and water outages did not signal an emergency situation. So you wouldn't use the red help sign. That would just be something that comes, you know, as they get to it. For now, we are live in Miami. I'm Chelsea Jones, CBS News, Miami. Chelsea, thanks a lot. Great tips for everyone to know about.